This is a, a relatively non-political uh, video. It's about the strengths and weaknesses of the Julia programming language as a coding language to use in designing um, planning software for national economic planning. Hello, I want to thank my Patreon users for contributions to the event. At the earlier period of me producing videos, this was the PC I was using. It cost about 150 quid or so and had 4 gigs of RAM and an Atom processor on it. About a month ago, I got a contract from a publisher to write a new book on planning. And I ran through material that I was already familiar with. And then I decided I was going to test out a new algorithm for multi-year planning. And I felt I had to write new code for this. And if I was going to experiment with larger scale plans, I might want multi-core code. So I decided both to learn to use Julia, a new array programming language, and to get a, a more powerful machine. I discovered that it's possible now to get second hand uh, high performance workstations at uh, very affordable prices. So for about 400 quid I picked up a HP workstation with a 12 core Xeon in it, which would have originally um, cost around $10,000. I got it for about £400. And it now comes with a second monitor so that I can present material for my lectures on one and control the capture on the other. The other thing I'm going to examine today is the choice of language. I decided that I was going to learn Julia and use Julia as the, the main coding language for my new algorithm. And the strength that Julia had, according to the publicity, is that it gave you faster versions of what MATLAB gives by being compiled. And it's supposed to support parallelism across multiple cores, which is why I got a multi-core machine. And I'm just going to give you some feedback on my experiences with Julia compared with other array programming languages which I've developed and to see whether it meets up to its claims. Um, as it happens, having embarked on coding the stuff in Julia, I am going to release, code up and release an algorithm in Julia if it works. But I'm not convinced that Julia is the highest performing choice for such algorithms. And I'm going to give you a short um, series of examples of performance that you get on equivalent operations between Julia and one of the compilers I've written myself. The ease of use of Julia is great and it's also supposed to automatically take use of or be able to make use of parallelism. And that seemed encouraging but um, I need to do some benchmarks on it to validate it. So I took a program with a bunch of simple um, matrix operations on relatively large matrices now and timed it. Um, we'll run that again. So we're doing operations now on matrices a thousand by a thousand. 
and we're doing 200 repetitions of each operation. So 200 repetitions of a million element matrix addition took about two seconds for floats and ints and just over three seconds for um, double precision floating point. Now I've compiled a Pascal equi exactly equivalent line for line equivalent program And you see, it, it runs very much faster. So this was rather disappointing because I'd counted on being able to get both the speed of a compiled language and the ease of debugging that you get with an interactive language from Julia. However, it's not altogether bad because those tests are all simple array additions and subtractions. Let's see what happens if we do a test which involves some um, actual matrix multiplication. So um, I have a, a Julia test using matrix multiplication as well as the previous things. And there's a somewhat smaller matrices because matrix multiplication becomes uh, terribly slow when you do it on really big matrices. So, OK, you, as you'd expect, it's somewhat faster on the smaller matrices adding them. But it's got very reasonable performance on the, the matrix multiply. And if I do the same thing for Pascal with matrix multiply, we get a very much worse performance. In fact, that is a somewhat smaller Pascal uh, matrix that's on 200 and double precision matrix multiply took uh, 8.97 seconds. Well, I'm running all of this in the Windows PowerShell. You can also do everything in the um, Windows subsystem for Linux and you get somewhat higher performance there. Just, just check the um, I'll run my pass bench here okay so the double precision matrix multiply took 1.15 seconds here and let's do it for Julia again problem here is that I'm, I'm running the, the Pascal on a smaller example. Um, I, I should actually go and check that I've got a, a, a same sized example. Okay, as you see, I have now compiled and run it for a matrix of size 400 by 400 and the double precision matrix multiply took 75 seconds, the real matrix multiply 70 seconds, very much poorer. On the other hand, I can compile the, the Pascal to operate um, using uh, a lot more cores. So um, if I run it on core, the version I've compiled to run on 12 cores, I get a, a more, whoops, That, that version was a, an, a Windows X here tried to run, not a, a, a Windows subsystem for Linux. If I run the Windows subsystem for Linux one, let's see how much far, this is run on all 12 cores of the machine. Should be a bit faster, not nine seconds now for the double precision matrix multiply. and 7.38 seconds for the 
um, single position one. Let's just go back to see what the junior one was. So for Julia, the performance is, is somewhat better or significantly better for matrix multiply. Look at a whole series of um, runs. What's very striking about the um, Julia system is that although it forms much worse on standard matrix additions, subtractions, etc., its performance on matrix multiply is strikingly good and there is some degree of performance gain when you run it on 12 cores. But even more striking is the fact that when I double the size of the matrix, the double the edge of the matrix, the, the Julia code um, for matrix multiply only increases less than twice, whereas you would expect a doubling to cause matrix multiply to, to go up as 2 to the power of 3, so you'd expect it to be 8 times slower, which is what we observe with the the um, Pascal version. So they, they must be compiling to a very clever matrix multiply routine to have that time complexity. And that time complexity, if the answers are right, is very encouraging for planning operations. Because in planning what you're doing, um, if you're using the Leontiev method, is you, you do a lot of uh, matrix to vector multiplications and uh, you, you do matrix inverses. And if those are implemented well, it implies that Julia will be a good language to code up such code in.